So last week we did a photo breakdown episode showing some Cinestill 800T photos that I made of my wife on our anniversary trip, and today we're actually going to take a look at some more film from that same trip. This is from a hike that we did about three miles or so in Mohican State Park here in Ohio, and I shot a roll of Ektar 100 and Portra 400 through my Pentax 6.7. So today we're gonna review the photos and just kind of discuss them a little bit. The very first photo on that roll, I'm actually really happy with this shot. I love the red and the green color here and there was just this one little patch of light coming through the trees that was hitting this here and it just added this really nice kind of pop of contrast there. And I really like the way this one turned out. Um, it's just something different for me. It's not something that I normally like to go out and shoot. And I hadn't shot Ektar in a long time. A few years ago, I made a video where I was talking about shooting Ektar and Portra in the desert when we were in Vegas. And I pushed that film like two stops. And I mentioned that I wasn't crazy about that. Since then, people have kind of assumed that I hate Ektar just because of that one video. I don't hate Ektar at all. I just, I normally like the Portra film stock. So I was excited to shoot Ektar. And again, just to show you guys, I don't hate the film stock. It was just a, a one-time thing. However, we were in a lot of shade while we were walking through there. So there were very small patches of light as we were walking around. So honestly, as we were doing a lot of hiking through this one trail, I didn't shoot much with the camera at the time because I didn't really have an opportunity to. This, I believe, was at 1 60th of a second at f2.8, maybe 1 25th, um, but it was still pretty low light. And uh, shooting with the Pentax 6.7, I really try to stay 1 60th and above. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really shoot too much as we were walking through there. For instance, we saw a trail leading to some falls, so we thought that would be a good photo opportunity, and we went there, and there were just a lot of tourists there basically taking photos of their kids, like in the cave and stuff. Basically the kind of stuff we would be doing if our kids were with us. And uh, I couldn't really get a good photo at that particular spot. There wasn't really much to see anyway, but um, still there was just, it was full of people. So we just kind of kept walking. I shot one photo just to see what it would look like. And uh, I, it, this is garbage, hot garbage. And as we walked out of the trail, we came to this dam and uh, I went ahead and shot basically the rest of the roll right there just to kind of speed it up so that way I could load some portrait in there because the ISO 100 was really kind of limiting me and I wasn't sure the trail that we were going back to, I wasn't sure what kind of light was gonna be there so I wanted to basically hurry up this roll so I could load up some portrait. But I shot some photos there at the dam. There were a lot of people out there on jet skis and speed boats, that kind of thing. Um, nothing really to write home about, but I am really happy with these two portraits I made of Molly as we were walking out there by the dam because Ektar is kind of notorious for people worrying about like red skin tones and it not being pleasing for portraits. And although there is a little bit more red tint there in like her cheeks and her chin and uh, just overall her skin tones, it's a lot more pleasing than I expected. Um, so I know people kind of just write off Ektar as being bad for portraits, but um, I'm pretty happy with these. I really like how clean these were. Now, granted, she was backlit and I had her kind of like in the shade a little bit, but still, uh, this came out nice and soft. Soft in the color and skin tones, not in the sharpness. You, you get it. So hiking back to the car, we went on a different trail, and this was a lot lower and closer to the creek, and uh, there was a lot more light here, so I'd loaded up Portra 400, and this was definitely my favorite part of the hike. As we got going, there were a lot of people out there. It was Memorial Day weekend. My wife and I got married on May 24th, so there's always people anywhere we go for our anniversary. Uh, but there were some people out there fly fishing in the creek. I went ahead and shot some photos of them. As we were walking, there were these rocks, these bright white rocks in the creek off to our right. And I was trying to shoot this where there was these really dark shadows in the top half of the frame and these really bright spots in the bottom half of the frame. It doesn't translate at all. Um, in my head, I thought this is gonna look really cool got the film back and I don't like this at all. Now the second photo in that same situation, I got lower, I opened up the lens a little bit more and I was kind of shooting the rocks in more of this like dappled light as the light was coming through the trees. It wasn't just in direct sunlight. This particular photo I'm much happier with. It's nothing that I'm like excited about, but it does look much better than the previous photo in my opinion. And then I just really liked all of the light that was coming through the trees there. So I shot a lot of stuff just kind of along the trail as the light was coming through the trees there in sort of a backlit situation. And it was just this really nice kind of environment. These are the kind of places I really like to just walk and relax and take my camera. And uh, I know a lot of people would love to go to a beach over pretty much anywhere, but I will take walking through the woods or the mountains any day of the week over a beach. 
As we were walking, we saw this rock in the middle of the creek that had like five or six butterfly on it, and they were all just swarming around the middle of this rock, so I have no idea why they were all there, but they were right at the edge of the light, and then it went into shadow on that side of the creek, so I was basically just seeing any time they would come up, they were basically the only thing that the light was hitting, and everything behind them was in dark shadow, so they were standing out a lot, and I really wanted to get a photo of that, and I couldn't get very close because we were alongside the creek bank, and uh, they were pretty far into the middle of it, so I got as close as I could, and uh, I basically was just trying to wait for them to all kind of like come up at the same time, and I shot this one photo where they were basically only two of them coming up, and uh, you know, they're really, really small in the frame because I couldn't get close enough. If I crop it in a little bit, it works a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it was just fun to watch. I just, you know, little things like that. That's the kind of stuff me and Molly like looking at while we're out walking around, you know. Just uh, real nature type. Then we saw this little snake that was swimming through the water and uh, I was trying to get a photo of it but I could tell he was looking at us and like trying to keep his distance so he was kind of underneath some uh, branches and some leaves and stuff trying to like hide. But then there was like a crew of people on kayaks coming down the creek and as soon as they got close he realized like he had to get out of there. He had wanted nothing to do with that. So he started swimming closer over to the creek bank where we were. So as he was coming up close to me I just tried to hope for the best and like look at where he was heading and I tried to just hold my focus and wait for him to come right into focus and I got extremely lucky on this shot. Ideally I wish I was a little bit closer but I am just happy that I was able to nail focus on the snake as he was coming towards me. Didn't think that was something I would actually be able to do, so I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I'd like to be closer, but I'll take what I can get here. But I really just liked all of the light and shadow on the water as he was swimming through it. It just has this really cool look to it. Then right after I shot a photo of the snake and my lens was still focused pretty close, I was walking and accidentally released the shutter because I didn't know my shutter lock was not on yet. So here is a nice out of focus photo of some trees. And then I shot one more portrait of Molly as we got back to this covered bridge right by where we parked. And uh, just a simple portrait of my wife. She's a babe. Not much else to it. All in all, it was a fun little hike. Um, I only shot those two rolls. I only brought my Pentax. I didn't even bring my M6. I just wanted to shoot some medium format and uh, I just had everything in this little sling pack in terms of like my meter and film and cell phone, that kind of stuff. And uh, just had this around my neck. So yes, you can hike with these cameras. It's not that big of a deal. I see people all the time talking about how these cameras are too big and too heavy. And yeah, sure, there are lighter, um, you know, more, travel friendly cameras I guess that some people might go for but still you can you can still hike with a Pentax 6.7 so uh, don't be afraid of it just just have some fun with it so if you guys have any questions or comments about any of this stuff please feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in supporting the channel the easiest way you can do so is just by subscribing but if you'd like to check out the patreon page I'll put a link in the description so thank you guys for everything thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time